Hello all once again, all oh, witchy people, and welcome back to my channel and the Covenstead. So, as you know, over the past few months, really, I've been buying quite a lot of decks, whether that be tarot or oracle, mostly oracle, that have really interested me over the past few years <clears throat> and that I thought I'd like to get, or just because picture on the cover really cool to me <laughs> so these are the sacred spirit reading cards by Anna Stark but the illustrations are by Louise Dyer and isn't it pretty it's just so lovely um a little bit of extra in there so you do get the cards in there I'll take them out for the minute and you get the book which is oh, really beautiful. So I'll go through the cards and show you them. I have not used these yet. So they start from card one. Yeah, I haven't used them yet, so I can't, I can't tell you what they're like, but you know, like sometimes when you're very drawn to a, a certain pack of cards, maybe because of the name or the picture or something. And I was saying before about Bantam Publishing. Bantam Publishing do a lot of... Um, tarot decks and stuff the other one that does that does an awful lot is Rockpool Publishing which I don't know what country rockpoolpublishing.co anyway back to the cards and glasses on so <clears throat> we have first one align your new align your universe navigate distractions Oh, how lovely. Ascended Masters, create open communication. Astral travel, caution needed. Awakened spirit, desire to change. Between worlds, new directions. The birth of creation, potential growth. And I don't know if you can see the detail in this. It is pretty amazing. Oh, ah, Celestial Gatekeeper, timing is critical. Look at the colours. It's, it's just, I don't know, you can see all the like, different purples. and Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Channel your knowledge, critical judgment. Clear and activate. Create a sacred space. Cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. Dark night of the soul, life bring, brings a new meaning. And as you can tell, these cards, they're, they're quite highly glossed, but they are also quite thick. Uh, divine will, let go of fear. Emotional challenges, resolve the issue. Energy signature, the past is in the present. I like that. Eternal union. New love is forming. Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. Galactic healer. Move forward with an open mind. Ground your light. Let your soul shine. Guardian. Guard your energy. Hidden realms. Create conscious awareness. Oh, so every time you look at some of these cards, you just see something else and something else and something else. This one's uh, quite amazing for that. From like the little details here and the little bird here and the face here and even the skull coming out here and there's another skull behind it. it the detail is stunning. Illuminate the shadow. Focus on a solution. Kundalini, Kundalini rising. Ignite your passion for life. I love this one. <laughs> Lead the way. Light your own path. It's just... Oh, we all know I like a lot of forest creatures. Stags especially. 
Okay, light codes, travel awaits you. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Living light energy, see the beauty in life. Love and light, act with care. Meditation, improvements require persistence. Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. As you can tell, I haven't actually been through these cards completely yet. So when I come across one that I haven't seen and it just takes my breath away, you're, I can't help it. It shows. Uh, open intuition, seek clarification. Sacred divinity, there are two paths ahead. Secret temptation, being led astray. Shield your energy, look beneath the surface. When you look at this one, it looks almost 3D, like the, the frog is coming out at you. That's, that's, oh. Soul fragments, balance will be restored. Spirit messages, observe limitations. Spiritual evolution, set your heart free. Third eye vision, reclaim your mind. So as you can see, there are 36 cards in the deck. The reverse of each of the cards is this. And I said with the book, it, it does, the book's pretty straightforward. I don't like this silver bit. If it had just been black, it would have been better, but it, the silver just makes it look cheap. That's the only thing I've got against this. And I do tend to keep my boxes because I like to have keep my cards in the boxes. Um, so, I see the book is quite clear cut. Um, but it doesn't go totally in depth. Um, but it, although it doesn't go in depth, it does say to you, which a lot of uh, oracle books to go with cards don't, they tell you how to align yourself with your deck, how to connect. There you go, connecting with your deck, how to connect and kind of, you know, help make the deck understand you sort of things you connect with it so that it works better for you um simple th one card reading three card readings a life guidance spread the seven rays archangels guardian angels crystal healing it goes into quite a lot before it goes into the actual um cards and what i liked about these cards is as well as telling you what the cards mean um, it also gives you your shadow aspect, so the reverse. So that's, you know, like I said, very, very, very beautiful deck. Um, really eye-catching. And uh, they are a little large, as you can see, they are quite big, which I find more difficult to handle. I know people, a lot of people like the larger cards. I, I like the mini decks simply because, and I don't think my hands are that small, but I do find the smaller decks easier to handle. Um, so yeah, but if they were smaller, would you notice all those beautiful little bits and pieces within each card? Would you notice all these little things? So maybe not, so maybe they need to be that big, but there we go. Sacred Spirit reading cards, definitely, not one of the easiest oracle decks to work with i will admit that um <clears throat> after reading through the book but i can imagine it's something that you could pick up really really easily so there you go anna stark and the illustrations by louise dyer absolutely gorgeous and um yeah if you like them 
they're easily found it's, they're quite a new deck i think i cannot see where it says da, 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 da. let's find out when this was done 2019 so it is a, a relatively new deck you know it's only a few years old and uh i think it's not an expensive oracle deck and well worth the money so there you go thank you for watching thank you for listening with you people i'll be back very soon bye for now